Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. One of the most underrated yet powerful DAX functions in Power BI is Treat As. It allows us to take the values from one table and apply them as filters on another table, even when there is no direct relationship in the model. Think of it like this, instead of creating extra relationships in your model or using complex measures, you can treat a column from one table as if it belonged to other. This opens up huge flexibility, especially when working with disconnected tables, custom date ranges, or scenario analysis. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to use treat as with a disconnected table that contains relative date options like today, yesterday, last seven days, last 30 days, etc. By the end, you will see how treat as can simplify your model and give you control over filtering. Now, one thing to keep in mind when using treat as is don't overuse it. It's a powerful function, but using treat as everywhere can make your DAX harder to read and maintain. Use relationships wherever possible. Also, don't forget that this is going to affect your performance. Applying treat as repeatedly on large data sets can slow down performance. Try to optimize your model first. And don't use this as a relationship replacement always. Treat as is great for flexibility, but if a proper relationship makes sense, go for it instead. Now in my Power BI report, I've added a relative date slicer here with these fields, last 30 days, last seven days, this month, yesterday, today, this year, etc. You can change this and add whatever you want based on your needs and requirements. Now I have created two different tables here. One table here using the treat as function. As you can see here, the measure that I have used here uses the treat as function. And the other table that I have here is the regular total sales function where I'm doing the sum of total sales and I've created a disconnected table. If I go to the model view, you will see that I've created this custom table here, which called as custom date periods. And you can see that there's no relationship between the custom date periods and my fact table here, which is sales. Let's go back into report view. And now when I click on seven days, you will see that this particular table, which is using the treat as function is filtered for last seven days. Whereas this particular table here is not filtered. Likewise, when I click on this year, you will see this year data here, yesterday, today, this month, right? So this is basically filtering. Now, what I've done here is if I go back into the custom date periods, now I've used this DAX to create the custom date periods table. And I've defined a variable here called full date table where I'm using the calendar date all the way from 2021st January until today. You can change this here based on your needs and requirements. You can calculate your min date and max date from your data model. And then there are some more variables here. I'm going to leave this particular code in the description below. You can check them out. And then I have my return statement here with the union, wherein I'm getting all of these columns here. Today, yesterday, last seven days, 30 days, this month, and this year. And if you want more, you can change this particular piece of code, add a new variable, and in the return statement, add another column here returning that particular variable. So that is how you'll be able to create this particular table here, which is custom date periods. Let me collapse this. And you will see that I have period, and in this period column here, I have last 30 days, seven days. So when I select last seven days here, you will see the last seven dates appearing here, and that is how the data is going to get filtered. Now let's go back into my report view and take a look at the measure that I have created here. It's called sales. I'm using the calculate function and passing in the total sales DAX that I have created. Total sales here is nothing but sum of order and sales. And then I'm using the treat as function. Now treat as function basically has two different arguments. You will have to pass in the two columns that you want to create relationship with. This is like you will have to pass in two different arguments here, basically two different columns here where you want to create relationship on. I'm using the values function here so that I get the unique dates from my customer date periods because I might have dates that are repetitive. For example, the last seven days here, 9th of September might also appear under last 30 days, right? So this is basically repeating in this case. That is why I'm using the values function here so that I get the unique values and then I'm passing in the orders date field from my orders table. And when I do that, I have this particular measure that I've added into this particular table here. You can see that this is my sales measure. And then I've added this particular slicer here from my custom dates period table. 
And now when I select any of these values from this slicer here, you can see that my table is getting filtered for this particular relative date. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.